Hello again, everyone. Twilight Prince 123 here, wishing you a happy 2010. And I uh, hope everyone's having a happy new year. So, it's time to start my next Let's Play. As I probably mentioned in my previous one, which was The Legend of Zelda, I thought I might as well go ahead and do Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link for the NES. Courtesy of the GameCube collection, of course. All in all, many people say that this Zelda game is actually considered the black sheep of the Zelda series. I have to strongly disagree. I mean, while it may be actually one of the more different Zelda games out there, it is by no means bad at all. I mean, just because it's mostly side-scrolling rather than just overworld hack and slash, you just got side-scrolling hack and slash. So, yeah. All in all, it's actually one of my five top favorite Zelda games so far. That might change depending on if I really like Spirit Tracks or not. So anyway, here's the story. After Ganon was destroyed, by me, of course, Impa told Link a sleeping spell was cast on Princess Zelda. She will wake only with the power of the third Triforce sealed in a palace in Hyrule. To break the seal, crystals must be placed in statues in six well-guarded palaces. Link set on his most adventuresome quest yet. This was first made back in 1987. Talk about your long time ago. Long, long time ago. Good times. So anyway, let's get started. We'll uh, start up a new file here. Under my short name, of course. Save that. Alright, let us start. Let's playing Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. Now, for those who have not played this game, this game, like I said, takes a drastic turn from the original Legend of Zelda. First of all, you encounter enemies by bumping into them here on the world map, or you can go into caves. Okay. You'll notice that caves are actually obnoxiously dark. Ow. Well, that's not a good way to start. I'm talking too much. I should be paying attention. Oh, God. Okay, this is stupid. Okay, not a good way to start, I have to admit. I need to start paying more attention. Anyways. <clears throat> so, you can see that caves are obnoxiously dark. That's because we don't have the candle, which we'll get in the first palace. Oh, well, this is a pleasant surprise. Now, this game also has an experience system, and this is the only game to have ever done that in the Zelda series, at least. So basically, you can level up your life, which means you'll take less damage, you can level up your magic, which means you'll use less magic, or you can level up your attack, and that's pretty self-explanatory. So for now, I'll just level up my life to make amends for all the stupidity I did. Now, this is a magic container. It increases my maximum magic meter. Kind of like a heart container, only for magic. So, yeah. I should start paying attention a little bit more when I'm in these darker caves. <laughs> I feel such I feel like such a noob doing that. Uh, enemy encounter. Now I don't quite remember all the names of all the enemies here in Zelda 2, but I remember these are bits, which are the blue ones, and bots or wait, where's the other way around? Yeah, it, the bits are the red ones. Bots are blue. The only difference between the two is that bots, the blue ones, usually jump. And forests usually have different enemies, like these spiders and moblins. These moblins are a little different. They will not only damage you, but if they hit you, they will take away experience points. Yeah, you heard me right. They take experience points. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. Not a good thing and ouch. Stupid spider. Anyways, enough dilly-dally. Let's uh, keep going. If you stay on the path, you won't have any enemy encounters. Oh, this was inconspicuous. Bats! Get down here. Take that. 50 points of it. Whoa, jeez! It's been a little while since I've played this. I'm a tad rusty, but I can still beat it. I hope. <laughs> If I can't beat it, then there's no purpose to me doing this Let's Play. <laughs> Anyways, there are also towns here. So, we'll go into this one. Welcome to Rauru. Huh, wait a minute. 
Okay, anybody that has actually played uh, Ocarina of Time, they should actually note that the names of the Seven Sages from there actually came from this game, as they were actually names of uh, the towns. If all else fails, use fire. Burn it with fire! <laughs> that is very true. If all else fails in this game, use fire. Please, let me help you. Come inside. Okay. Shall restore my life? Yeah, Link got all cozy. <laughs> you sneaky little elf. So, we just keep on going. Stop here for a moment. Talk to this girl. She says, talk with my father before you leave town. Alright, we'll do that. Each town has a wise man. Learn from him. I shall learn well. Dunka, dunka, dunka. Every town has a wise man, they'll teach you a new spell. Teach me, great one. Wrap a desert, use this magic to survive. Give me power! Shield power! <laughs> so the shield spell pretty much makes it it's kinda like a kinda like the blue ring from the original Legend of Zelda. It'll let you uh, take half damage, and it changes your tunic to a snazzy brownish-red kind of color. But anyway, yeah, it, uh, it'll change your tunic color, and uh, you'll take half damage. The cost of some of your magic. And if we go through here, we have yet another dark cave. Thankfully, this one will not be that much trouble, because there's only that little enemy there. Oh, okay. Power up my magic, so now I use less magic points. Now, beforehand, if I remember right, yeah, see, I used up 32 magic points, now I only use up 24 when I use the shield spell. Now, the palace is up that way, but I'm going to take a little detour first. I'm actually going pretty far for a 10 minute limit. I'm gonna admit. Oops. Gotta go the Oops! Oh, jeez. You might, you have to kind of watch your step in this place because if a stray bubble hits you, it might knock you to the water. And sadly, Link cannot swim in this game. So water is like touching lava. It's instant death. Now we go into this square here. Oh, look, a heart container. Uh oh. Let's get rid of this Gariah first. Die you. Ta da! First heart container. Woot. Jumping for joy. Now we just head back up through here, which means we need to go through this again, going the opposite way. Instead, so just watch your step, watch where the bubbles come up, and shouldn't really give you too much trouble. Just don't mistime your jumps. Alright, so we head up north, get into another annoying enemy encounter. Oh jeez. Oh, now we actually have some enemies to fight. Yeah. As long as I have my shield up, those rocks won't bother me. Ow. Now, those things can only be hurt if you hit them in the head. Yeah, in order to get keys or magic jars, you need to actually strike them. So here we are. First palace. favorite tunes. Alright. I'm gonna go this way first. These guys, eh, they're more annoying than anything, but they're also what I like to call point stealers, because they steal experience points if you loot, if you hit, if you get hit by them. Bonk, bonk, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Stompos. Stompos, uh, you can't just strike them, you need to duck and hit them, because otherwise their shields will block it. There's a key! Now, I'm gonna pause it here and uh, we'll go on to the next video. So, uh, I hope you all enjoy this Let's Play and I'll see you in the next part.